to the maiden edition of Dope Vibes on Youth TV. My name is Portia, your host, and this show is all about juicy, interesting topics. You know what I'm saying? Relationships, sex, sugar daddies, slay queens, all those juicy bits. My guests with me today are very interesting. They're going to do justice to this topic. Welcome back. My guests on set today are not only young, but highly intelligent in their respective fields. I have here with me a student and a fashion consultant. Brown Kwabna, hey. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I also have with me today the CEO of Phoenix Fashionville. Hair guru, makeup guru, everything you need when it comes to fashion. Welcome, Steph. Thank you so much. All right, our topic for today, hmm, Charlie. Is this really interesting story? This one, real life story, or it's not fiction, real life story. It's about this lady, this lady who had this, this boyfriend in the church. Right. I'm sorry, no, they are doing things still well. And then, <laughs> and then the guy proposed marriage to the girl, but she didn't want to get married. She didn't want to get tied down, so she rejected the marriage. Then um, the guy proposed to a different girl in the church. All right. Nah. Uh, the, I don't know, <laughs> but he proposed to a different girl in the church, and apparently, this bride to be mm -hmm. is still in the picture. Yet the groom to be was still, you know, hitting the other girl. <laughs> Let, let's call the girl girl A. Okay. You know, the, 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 the uh, first yeah. girl girl A. <laughs> you know, so the, the groom. The thing uh huh. Is girl A. Is girl A. Okay. That's the original. I call her original because on the start yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the other one is girl C because the the main guy is the B. Do you understand? Okay. Exactly. Okay. Now, the night before the wedding. Between B and, and C. And the night before the wedding. B banged A. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> the oh, night wait. before the wedding. <laughs> right. B banged A. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm. I'm not even done. The next morning, before the groom got ready to you know to get married to right. the the, ac the right. actual queen, mm. <laughs> the actual queen, they had a quickie. Okay. Wait. And you know we, we all know what a quickie is. Yeah. yeah. No, wait. Uh -huh. So the night before the wedding, uh -huh. B banged A. Uh huh. And the morning to the wedding, uh -huh. B bank had a quickie with A again. Exactly. Repeat. Repeat. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Interesting. <laughs> Double banger. So, <laughs> no yes. Now, here, here's, here's a twist. Here's a twist. Because they all attend the same church, mm -hmm. definitely A had to attend the, the wedding. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Then when they were dancing, you know, after they've signed and everything and they are doing their moves and everything, girl A went to shower money on the groom. For a, a job well done. Oh, okay. <laughs> for a job well done. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. I just, I just want to know what's what's your take on it, Like, uh, how 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 do you see this? That um, you know, the night before your wedding. Do you get what I'm saying? As the bride is seriously getting her bridesmaids ready and everything, the groom was seriously, <laughs> you know. First of all, thank you for having me on the show, and I'm so happy to be on the show. Congrats to you and your team. Thank you. It's lovely having you. So, <laughs> this thing here, <laughs> I don't want to be the bad person, but truthfully, mm -hmm. you and I know, we all know, mm -hmm. there's no news. There's something that happens like every single day. Like people that get married day in and day out, they come stand there, they cry, they do whatever they want to do, but it's a lie. <laughs> they are doing things because even the one they are getting married to, they've done like things for the person. So, As so. You mean, I, like Steph and I want to get married. Like let's just say I'm uh -huh. married to Steph. I used to be with you. Whatever it is, you can't tell me Steph and I would not like anything. So I'm assuming it's not news. Me to me, Jamie, my take on it is not news. There's something that happens. The so, night before the wedding. It happens. That Maybe. morning. My day happens. Some even go for trips with their. Ex girlfriends and right before they are married. It's no news. It happens. Oh, wow. I mean, I don't want to show, but I come to see you. Right. I see you. What do you think? I would say, me things like this, dear. Once I'm a lady, I'll say, hey, Barack Obama, I will, you are just a guy, so maybe your take on it is very different. But oh, me, as a lady, right. <laughs> it's not right. 
I can't be in the position of girl C. And before you come and marry me, you go have a fling with girl A. When we get married, it's going to continue. It's not going to end there. So me, I don't support it. It's not right. Huh, so it shouldn't happen. Okay, that way. okay, okay. Interesting. So you you agree with the fact that the guy will definitely keep having sex with your oh, A yeah. once oh, they're married. Of course. Before wedding, you had a quickie. No shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. You know, you know, you know. There's this notion that most guys want want to get it out of their system. You know, so yeah, well, free. Get, you know what I'm talking about? Am I rude? No, but you know, get it out of their system. You know, with a different person. You know, get it out of their system before. But uh, there's this notion that after um, he gets married, so you know, he's going to be faithful. He just wanted to get out of the system. In free him, then you know. He's not bad. It's not just a guy. You all make it look like, okay, men are this way and the men were always this way. Let me tell you something. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> there are times where, I think I saw a movie like that, one of these movies like that, but all these things are real stories. Mm -hmm. So, there are times where the ladies themselves come present themselves with no shit. You're a man and you can't control yourself. That's when you also fall for it. Right. Well, you know, this man didn't even call the girl to say, oh, I'm getting married tomorrow because you know how men are very secretive when it comes to their marriage. marriage. Like they don't even really want people to know. Right. You get. But people will find a way because they would call you in front of the church, announce and all that. Some of these girls will go present themselves to the man and then try to be like, okay, I want to see if you <laughs> still love the girl. Maybe sacrifice. <laughs> how can't you just say no? Why? How, does you, no. how does you have shame and not present yourself? Well, that was the lady. But nigga, you are coming to marry me. I'm not the man. And then you decide to have a thing with your ex. Not any girl. Ex. Okay, let's take it this way also. Did uh -huh. they officially break up? Did they officially like... Or, or they thought they were still a thing and then the boy went to like... Propose to another person. The, you know that thing happens. Like you, The next thing you hear, okay, this person is getting married. Right. You didn't officially break up. Right. Okay, um, um, according to the story, you know, the guy proposed to girl A first, mm -hmm. but girl A wasn't ready for marriage, which, which, is, which is really skeptical because usually we know that girls are always ready for not marriage. Not every girl. Oh, well, according to the story, not every girl. Not every girl. <laughs> but most girls are, Eight Steph, aren't you ready? Yeah, I'm also ready. <laughs> Why should get so <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. I'm also ready for marriage. But I, I also I also have this question. Um, do you think it was right for the girl to shower money on the group? Of course, make it rain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like saying if you've got this nonsense. Yes, I have used your man. <laughs> the man that is dying, you have you used him. So no, <laughs> you are so corrupt. No, you are so So I am coming corrupt. to make a rain. Like, see, girls, that's how you turn a party. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's how you turn a party. Because if you are the wife that is being, like, mm -hmm. like the, the bride, mm -hmm. in my mind, I would think, what is this girl? You get that in money. Where, where are you from? Like, fine, where are they seeing? They're probably friends. It's all in, it's okay. That's so the worst. Okay, so you're saying you, you can't have a female bestie, you know? My best friend is a female. Exactly. But I don't have sex with my best friend. Oh, exactly. you're... <laughs> I'm one of a million. I don't have sex with my best friend. Hi, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, but um, Steph, let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with your man having a female bestie? No. Why? Damn. Why oh. am I here? <laughs> <laughs> you think I am not cool. Or oh, you can't have a simple conversation with me. I wait. mean, you can. But wait. So, let's take it this way. Mm -hmm. Like me, honestly and truthfully, my best friend is a female. And then I, we start dating. Mm -hmm. I knew this. I've known her since we like, very young. Like, we, grew, we literally grew up together. Mm -hmm. So, I've known her all my life. And then I'm comfortable talking to her. Not like I'm not comfortable telling you anything because obviously, like, mm -hmm. I mean, But you don't expect everything to switch. It like, won't switch, my dear. Make me bestie A and make her bestie B. B. <laughs> I have to be on top. I have to be the real. So you're, not, you're not okay with the title, my girlfriend, my fiance, my wife. You are not okay with that. You want to add bestie to it. Add it. Obviously, everyone your knows wife like needs to be your best friend. Like, how nice is it seeing that? You have your guy, you guys are always laughing, you can see a girl, oh my god, you guys are laughing, you are laughing, hey, business, hey, you are hey, talking yeah. about it. Everything is just like you and your guy. It's just nice and sweet. It's painful to see that your guy 
like see somebody else to be easy to talk to, easy to approach, more than you. I mean, it's painful, so I would like you, my dear, to be my bestie. So you are, you are okay with the fact that you would have a female best friend where her birthday you would even explain it to come and all that, but I can't have a uh, mm. best friend outside. Am I not enough to be your best friend? <laughs> you are, you know. Thank you. So she'll be me. Okay, 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 okay Brock, I'm not trying to say that. The people you've dated before, and even your current girlfriend, if you do have one, they're okay with you having a female bestie. Well, you, you have to be okay. Hey, you're so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> but has, has that affected I'm your okay relationship? With saying, no, because you don't see my, my best friend and I, like, we are best friends, even though she's a girl and all that. You, you hardly see us even together. Ah. We are the type of best friends that. So you, it depends on you, what you are doing with the person or how you are with the person. Because me and my best friend, for instance, you have to see something like, I'm, like right now as I'm talking, I've not seen her for the past two months. It's just like in person. I've not seen her. We just talk on phone, we'll, we'll talk and all that. But I've not seen her, so it depends. You talk every day. No. <laughs> about everything. No. We, t- we talk about almost everything. So you could end it's up closer. talking about your it's girlfriend closer. if you have one with your bestie. Yes. All the time. The same way I was talking to my, be- my girlfriend about my best friend. No. Okay, okay so it, it, is it not acceptable mm-hmm. for uh, um, your boyfriend to talk to his bestie about you? Is, is that not acceptable? Because obviously he had his bestie before he had you. So he is, might is it end up saying things about us that I wouldn't want his bestie to know about. Okay. Then it means your boyfriend doesn't know his, like, not your boyfriend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no you but I mean whoever right. is there right. doesn't know like where to end. Mm-hmm. I know my limits to conversation. Mm-hmm. When I'm talking to my best friend, your topic is not supposed to be our conversation. Right. You would come in. Mm-hmm. Obviously. She would ask me, Oh, how's how hey, that one is cool. But I will not because when I'm talking to her, the conversation is between me and her. Something that I feel like I'm supposed to talk to her or something. You know the funny thing is, people think when you have a female best friend and all, you have a best friend, you are saying everything to them. Sometimes it's probably something she's even doing I don't like. That we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Maybe I've, I've heard something. I don't like it. Oh, girl, this is what I heard. I don't like it. You're not supposed to be doing because I've not known you to be this mm-hmm. or that or that. It probably isn't even something personal that, oh, and my girlfriend and I, and then we went, we, we, you don't know your limits. Okay, so what is acceptable and what is not acceptable if you have a bestie right. and you're dating? Put you your, m- well, to me, when you are dating and you have a best friend, whether male or female, gender aside, I think one thing that I will never accept is putting who were the person first before me. Right. That's wrong. Because why would you put the person first? I mean, if you want to put the person first, you, you might as well go into a relationship with the person. Mm-hmm. I should be first. So in this case, your girlfriend is the yes. A. Yes. <laughs> yes. As you said, I agree to that because in whatever happens, if my girlfriend calls me right now and tells me, oh, babe, I'm not well, like this is what's happening, and you also call me, I would end up going, I would, I would end up, I will go to my girlfriend first <laughs> because <laughs> you have a boyfriend probably. Right. You have like, you know, it's, you, right. so me, if you put me like as an option B, mm. that's like not acceptable. And then knowing your limits is something that you should also know. Because mm-hmm. as she said, you might end up seeing things that you're not supposed to say to her. Right. But it shouldn't be like that. Like, there are things where you can see and there are things where you cannot see. So, yeah, okay. those two. Okay, okay, thank you very much. I know about this, but... Okay, oh, okay, I'm um, talking about besties. You know, there is, we have besties and we have friends with benefits. You know? Yeah, I know. So, um, my, my question is... Um, how do you feel about having a friend with benefits? Or your boyfriend having, having a friend with benefits? Oh my god. If I'm going to have a friend with benefits, then I do not have a boyfriend. I right. can't right. be in a relationship right. and have a friend I'm benefiting from. Then right. why is the guy there? Right. If okay. I feel he's not enough, then that should be it with me and him. It shouldn't continue. Then then I will be with you and with benefits. Thank but you, that's I right can't so. be with my guy and be with another guy. That'll and also cheating. with the with the yeah, benefits cheating. with the benefits, what type of benefit? Because if it's sex, excuse me. Yes, yeah, sex. <laughs> what benefit sex. are you getting? Am I getting a car from you? Am I getting money from you? Am I getting what? Well, sex Just means sex. nothing. 
So that's the benefit. Sex is on the road. You can get sex anywhere, my dear. Uh, so, uh, uh, sex is on social media now. <laughs> I can go to the right now and have sex. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. What is the value of sex for you? Sex is deep. Like, mm-hmm. it's, uh-huh. it's a commitment. Right. So if I'm having a friend who so benefits with you and then the benefit is sex, sex is a deep thing. So, well, this is our generation. Because once you're having <laughs> sex with somebody, you're sh- because you know the things you. I don't want to be all spiritual and all that, but you know there's a spiritual <laughs> aspect to sex. Well, I know that. There's a spiritual aspect to sex. Huh, right. So if I'm having sex with somebody. It shouldn't be like, anyone. Why are we selling sex and making sex so cheap? Uh, well, well, most people sell sex for money, so you know what I'm saying. Everyone so as, as, as everyone in their house solo, I just want to condemn somebody's house, so I beg. You bad. So okay, as as you mean, you you have your girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Or let's say, no, let me ask this, this because this is more is a girl something. What um, makes you think? Mean, <laughs> as you what makes you think? As you mean, you have your boyfriend, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying you in per se, but right. a girl is having her boyfriend. You know, you are all young. Okay, as you mean. You have a boyfriend, mm-hmm. and uh, or any girl has a boyfriend, mm-hmm. and a young boyfriend, you know, fine boy, you know, those things. Yeah, you point to me. Yeah, you point to me. Where's the fire? <laughs> you know, everything, six pack, everything. Oh, okay, that one I have. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys took off love. Mm. You guys are, you know, hitting it. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Over here, you're having sex for love. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and somebody is is having sex with. And an older person. These are senior citizens. Exactly. That's the one to chop what the young people are glucose, chopping. Oh, right. Glucose yeah. guardian. That's what we call them now. We don't call them yeah. guardian. Now we call them glucose guardian. Glucose, they give us pure energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a fan. <laughs> like ATP. <laughs> yes. And someone is also doing that for money. Mm. Mm. When you're in a car, when you're in a field, right. when you're in a business, hmm. she's living a comfortable life. It's all fornication. Right. You know? Yeah, of course. So um, here, here's my question: Is it okay for us to fault girls that are giving it to Papano for <laughs> money? Because younger girls are also giving it for for love. This thing, whenever I think about it, I have two takes on it. Mm. One, me myself, and I, and I, <laughs> <laughs> I would not want someone to do it to my husband. Yeah. So yeah. I tell myself, yeah, per se, obi the pay me no, me find you obi. But then again, mm. <laughs> when right, you true. think about the fact that you are in a relationship, or you look at how relationships have been these days, and how not committed girls and boys are, and you think about it, and you're a girl, and you're like, at the end of the day, if I give it to this papa no, he will give me a car, give me respect. Even if he's not going to really love me, he's going to be there for me. And I'm also there to please him, so, like, why not? So, like, there are two takes on this for me. I've and always been thinking about it that way. And he won't even break your waist. You know? These old, old people, they can't really do anything. What makes you think? <laughs> people, you've not, you've, you've not seen things, so. <laughs> ah, be there. <laughs> okay, okay, so, um, in, in this case, you're, you're saying it's yes and no. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot to benefit from. Right. And I think she has a majority on the yes. To the no. Okay, okay, assuming he's not someone's father. He's just an old man, a really old man. Oh, that's, that's not... That's not... Yeah, oh, damn. You. Because I don't have a man. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not... So come. So come in. I'm a child with money. That's nothing. Uh, purposely for money. Nothing else. There's no love. Nothing. My purposely for money. <laughs> love these days. I'm sorry to say. Like, and yes, say I don't believe in love, but right now, love these days is... is so difficult. It's, it's something. So if at the end of the day, I'm not going to be looking out for love and I'm going to be getting the money to push my business or do whatever I want to do. Why? <laughs> a not? business girl. So in this case, it's, it's, it's a better investment. You invest for money instead of investing. You use right. your job to get what you want. Right. Okay. Um, I, you know, my brother was like, um, the slay queens, should I say slay queens, or let's mm. say the ladies that are giving it to Papano for money. First of all, what's slay queens? They are actually, I, 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 now they are some, it's, it's a household name. And everyone, <laughs> well. <laughs> everyone is saying something, you know, you just put on a bone straight and something and you're a slay queen. Somebody didn't wear don't worry. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I don't know whether they are grades to slay queen or something. Oh yeah, they are, they are, they are classes now. They are classes. They are classes. Oh, you are yeah, they are classes. 
As in you come and then do Yeah, well, baby Sleku. And we have the Let me the correct, correct, yeah, well, correct your, one. Your mama, oh, we have your mama. We have your baby Sleku queens. We have mid class Sleku queens. Your mama is there. Ah, as a child. Hey, 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 Who born you? Hey, hey, Not your mama born you. Like, <laughs> sorry, I don't know if we can mention this person's name, but Bob Visky. Everyone knows. Now your mama. 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 So obviously, yeah, like, okay, okay, there are classes okay. to everything. Yeah. Even like work, like professional work, there are right. classes. So if you are not, even professional work has classes. Now you, a you unofficial work. Big. But you know, you know, I was thinking. Uh, my, as I said, my brother was saying that they are actually giving something to the community because they are opening jobs now. Giving well, a lot of them. Because they are opening I get jobs. Job. My brother said yeah. right. Because I think. And then they are employing people. Yeah. Oh. Some of them are into a lot of work now. Like now, the next thing they do is okay. So please, I'm sorry I'm using this example, but I'm not seeing you as queen. But <laughs> a lot of them <laughs> will now go. <laughs> A lot of them will now go into hair, makeup, makeup, and then that's one very particular thing that a lot of them do now that I'm really happy about is delivery. Right, delivery. Like they go into delivery services a lot. Like a lot of sequins own delivery services like right. now, and they're very reliable because they can buy like ten motors at a go, and then they will be doing delivery. So obviously, because if I'm buying like even five motors mm -hmm. to do delivery for me, and I'm employing five yeah, people, I'm, five I'm paying five. them at the end of the month. Because I'm not the study in few and far more. It's not your business. Like yeah, right. all you need is I am I am helping. Your government is not helping you. So I, that's, that's I like said what I said. Your government is not helping you. <laughs> so if your government is not helping you, and then me, I can provide jobs for you. Why not? Makes sense. So, it's, it's a, so they're actually helping the community. Well, whatever they are doing we to get a manager, me, it's not my business. Me, all I know is <laughs> you are employing me, I'm working for you. Because right. assuming a slave when comes to, like, employ me, mm -hmm. oh, um, I, want you, I want you to style me for an event, which I do, so thank you. <laughs> if you say, oh, I want to style you, I want you to style me for, I will do it. My sister, me, do I care who is having sex with you? Mm -mm. Me, it's my money that I'm taking. You know. At the end of the day, you sign my check. Right. Cut the check, oh, bitch. Yes. Oh, yes. Secure the bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, thank you very much for coming. I, yeah. I, I've, I've really learned a lot, you know. Yeah. And we, we moved from talking about a story, yeah. you know. That's why they're senseless. It's just something that is happening. I'm talking there. about that to the value of sex, to slay queen and sugar daddy. You, you know what I'm saying now? This is what the show is all about. So, um, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for having, Wrap up now. For having us. Played by Phoenix. Right. Phoenix Fashion Viz. Right. Hair Guru. Yes. Everything. So, <laughs> she also does packages and everything. Oh, you know? yes. Oh, but she said we shouldn't call her slay queen, so you know. I'm not. She's not a slay queen. Yeah, okay, well, no, no, wait, wait. No, don't waste me. <laughs> don't waste me. <laughs> Okay. Th thank you guys so much for coming. Um, thank you for our fashion me. consultant, yeah. please, please tell our audience if they, they, they want to be, you know, you how, how they reach you. Oh, so Instagram is bra underscore cobna. So B R A underscore Q W A B Y N A. It's the same on Twitter, and yeah, Twitter and Snapchat, the same thing. Charlie. These are like my very active places. Charlie. Facebook DM, Myra. <laughs> so, baby, you see how the Kwabna is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I see you. How, how do you contact you? For hair, makeup, dresses, shoes, jewelry? Right. And some. <laughs> I'm about to confuse you guys. Okay. So, if you want to find my hair page on Instagram, kindly just search Famous Beauty and Hair. So simple. You find my hair page. If you want my makeup page, just type Finis Beauty. You find it on my hair page when you go there. And if you want fashionable clothing, just search Finis Beauty. Fashion video. I got you. Yes. Huh? Thank you very much. My name is Portia, your host. My IG handle is IDS underscore Portia. This is very youth related. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell button and subscribe to this channel.